Okay. Um, I'm back and let's take a look at the ear. So I've done this and just take a look. We're getting the shape. We're getting the basic forms that we need. I'm just going to turn the smooth off here and I'll just keep filling these things in. If I stare at them long enough, they'll sort themselves out. If I go in and let's see here, uh, this one here, if I go kadoink, kadoink, boom, quads. And if I go here, boop, quads. And right here, this has got six edges, so that means if I divide it half, there would be quads on either side there. Or, I think what I'm going to do is something like this. Makes it a bit more even. Okay, great. And then I'm going to stare at this little section here. And what do we got? We've got this little ridge that's coming down through here. And do we have something else that goes over this way? Yeah. Let's just go and zip my way through here. And... Okay, and we'll do something like that, and that, kaboom. And let's see, is there anywhere in here that I can get rid of this, uh, this stuff? Like if I got in extra ones here, boop, there. <clears throat> Okay, and we do this to here. Good God. Quads! It all worked out into quads. Uh, okay. And then we're getting down into this area here. And I want to go down inside of the ear to the hole to the brain. Let's just take this face and I'll just quickly go and hit extrude. Okay. <clears throat> and when I get in here and I'm starting to root around, um, you know, this this gets kind of like a, a kind of a tricky area. I figure out how to make this all look smooth, and I want to see what it looks like when it's smoothed, and without adding too much geometry. What I'm going to quickly do is uh, uh, go in here, and I'm going to use the proxy on this thing, and see the proxy. So we want to go to uh, in this case here, I want to go to plus Z. And if I got anything funny on here, nope. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit smooth. Boop, got it on the other side, so I can kind of see what I'm looking at. And actually, I just might use a quick little isolate select. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, I can kind of see what's going on here with the geometry and stuff. And, uh, okay, let's go in here and get my split polygon tool out. There, and do this. Okay, I got a bit of a ridge here. Um, I might decide, you know, uh, to get rid of that afterwards. Actually, if I just go and do something like grab these two vertices here, they're kitty corner to each other. So if I just go and weld those together, I get nice kind of smooth quads out of that. And let's get back to my split polygon tool. And everything's lagging a little bit. Um, okay. Let's just kind of see if I can get this in. And we're still facing this problem that's coming up here. I'm kind of scared of doing it. The hole to the brain. Okay, we're working. The hole to the brain should be somewhere around here, I think. I hope. It changes from person to person. I swear. Some people hear it. We don't have pictures. Of it. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is uh, now I've got a five-sided here. And uh, I think it would probably just be easier if I just went like this. Crap, I missed! Missed again! What if I just went right across? Okay, fine. Okay. Hold of the brain is somewhere around here. Um, I'm just going to go and take some vertices and move them, move them around a little bit. Great. And just kind of round out a little spot for this little hold to the brain. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, and let's just go and pull this in here, and this, I'll just go and pull that in here. Great, I can smooth those out or something like that. I'm just kind of rounding out this area here, and I'll just grab these faces, these two faces here, and go and hit my happy extrude tool. Let's just go down this way a little bit, and let's just go and take the rotate tool, rotate a little bit, and let's go and push it down this way a little bit. Oh my god. And <clears throat> maybe I'll hit it one more time. Go out this way. Great. And no one's going to really look too far down there, so I think that's going to be fine. I don't know how many people are really going to be looking at your ears. Some people have these, I don't want to call them fetishes, but they have ear things. Um, and 
I can see that everything looks a little bit rigid and stiff in here, so I'm just going to quickly go in here and grab uh, a couple of edges here. And what about this stuff here? Boop. And if I just go in and grab my mesh average vertices, and I just hit G. There, that looks a little bit more blended right in here. Some of these edges that are a bit harder, those will be fine. What time are we at? 518. Okay. And I'm going to say that's good enough for now. Like, I can work on some of these ridges and these other details later. This is, I like blocked in a good shape of the year really quick. So, next thing I want to do. What do we got? I want to try and finish it in this go. This is, I always consider the ear to be one of the trickiest parts of modeling the head. And I've just gone in and selected all the outside edges here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and hit, ex and I deselected the ones that are lining up with the side of the face. Okay, I deselected those ones, because otherwise I get this funny little ridge in here, and I get what I call Shrek ears. I don't want Shrek ears. Uh, I just want to do something like that, and then I'm just going to go and hit Extrude again. And this time I'm going to go from local to global by hitting my little switch. And I'll go in and scale this down a bit. Let's go and push this over this way a little bit. Okay. Now, this would be great for an ear, right? <coughs> Except, if you have to go in and you've got a cranium that you've got to work with, and you're trying to go and weld these vertices in down a little kind of valley or ridge down here, this sucks, okay, and it takes a little while. I started noticing that it's easier if you take this ear ridge here that I've been extruding and I pull it up a bit like this. Now it's easier to match up the sides, okay? And so there's my ear roughed in. I could probably go in and add more geometry, really look behind the ear and all that stuff, but that's looking fine for now. And let's just go and kill the history. And it looks like I've got most of my ears set up. Some of these things are a bit like this. Here are these vertices here. Let's just go and use my tilde. Come on! Is it the middle? Come on! I'm not, am I using tilde? I am. And anything I have to do special? No? Okay, there we go. Come on! And these ones down here are going to look kind of weird, so actually screw the tilde. Oh, it's because I've got a lag on here because I'm doing some other things on my computer all at the same time. Okay, and do we need this other ear anymore? I just wanted that as a rough guide, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Also, too, you should watch how when you get rid of these proxies, uh, just so you know. Uh, oh, please don't crash on me. No crashing. Okay, good. Come on, move it. Okay, there we go. And if I go in and I find this thing, you'll see down here that this thing here, whenever I make a proxy, it adds this extra group in here. And if I go and I delete this thing, I've still got this thing up in here. And watch, if I do another proxy, it goes in and puts another group in here. So you've got to be careful for this stuff. And I just really suggest cleaning it all up as you go. Because if you get too many of those in there, I've noticed about, once you get over about 20, you start getting this weird system lag. And it's really hard. Well, you can do it. I can get out of it. And if you got a question about it, just ask. But I've figured out a way. But it, it, sometimes if you try and unparent it when you got the big long hierarchy, it'll crash. Okay, so I've got this ear. Anything else want to fit in here? I'm going to leave that for now. Come on. Let's get rid of this. And what do we got? 851. Okay, let's go and try and get that face in here. So we got the face sitting there. So I just got to go to the front view. My ear is hidden down here. This looks kind of weird. And, uh... I'm just going to go in and grab my rotate tool, and I'm going to rotate this thing so it lines up in the front view. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to go and get my uh, soft modification tool, and we'll go in and we'll pull this out a little bit. You might notice that it's a bit big, so I'm just going to go in and make this smaller, just middle clicking. And I can kind of go in and make this kind of more organic, and take this, and don't forget that you can actually rotate it too. And okay, and let me just see this, and I'll push this back in this way a little bit. And Okay, and what do we got? But well, it doesn't quite fit. Okay, so let's go to the side view. What do we got? 8, 9.45. Great, I'm just going to take this thing. Come on! Okay, great, and let's hide that thing. 
I thought I was going to hide that one. And we're done.